Hello, so in this video, I'll be doing the integral of one over e to the x take one. This came up in a recent question in an A-level paper as one way of solving a particular question. So I thought I'd go through that in a video. Um, so the first thing I want to talk about is what this is not. So this is not one over x. This is not the same thing as the integral of one over x, which we know is the log of x. So we can't say this is the log of e to the x take one. Uh, this is not going to equal the wow. log of e to the x take one because this is not a linear function in the denominator. So when this is a linear function, we can say it's the log of x, uh, but when it's something else, we it's not so simple. So I wanted to get that out of the way first in case anyone was wondering, can't, can't we just say this is the log of e to the x take one? Okay, next, uh, I just want to point out why this is a bit more complicated than usual. So one way of solving these types of integrals is to do a u substitution. Um, so if we say u equals e to the x take one, for example, we can substitute it in there and then do the integral of one over u. But in this case, uh, we're doing it with respect to x. So we'd have the integral of one over u with respect to x, um, and you can't really do that. Um, so we need to change this expression somehow first. Uh, so we can get rid of this dx and the u substitution actually helps us. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing first is to rearrange this expression a little bit. Um, so then when we do the u substitution, it actually simplifies to something we can take the integral of. Uh, so firstly, I'm going to be doing a few things to this expression that might not make sense as they are, but once you get to the final product, uh, you see the point of it all. Um, so firstly, uh, I'm going to, in the numerator, I'm going to change this to one take e to the x plus e to the x. And the denominator will stay the same for now. Uh, so hopefully you can see I haven't actually changed anything. I've just taken away and added the same thing. So that numerator is still equal to one. Then I'm going to factorize out a negative one from this numerator uh, and bring that out the front. Then this positive one becomes a negative one. That's really the whole point of this. Um, so this negative e to the x becomes a positive e to the x. So this numerator will be e to the x take one. And this positive e to the x becomes a negative e to the x. And this is still all over e to the x take one. So the point of that step was to get a negative one in the numerator. And you'll see why in a minute. Then we can write this as a negative one times the integral of, and we can separate this into two fractions. So this can be written as e to the x take one over e to the x take one, subtract e to the x. So because that's a negative, we subtract this next fraction, e to the x over e to the x take one. So I've just separated that into two fractions. And hopefully now you can see this first fraction here, e to the x take one over e to the x take one, that can be written as one. Uh, so this integral can be written now as negative one times the integral of one take e to the x over e to the x take one. And then distribute that negative to both terms. Um, so this can be also written as the, the integral of uh, this negative term becomes a positive. So the integral of e to the x over e to the x take one, uh, take the integral of one. And they're both with respect to x. Um, so we also know uh, when you take the integral of two terms and they're added or subtracted, you can separate those into two separate integrals. So the integral of a plus b is the same as the integral of a plus the integral of b. Okay, so we already know that to be true. Um, so now having, having a look at this expression here, we've got the integral of e to the x over e to the x take one, take the integral of one with respect to x. Uh, that part is going to be easy, that's just going to be x. This is the bit I'm going to focus on now. Um, so if we go back to the top of the page, uh, e to the x over e to the x take one. I'm going to look at carefully 
And this is where we can do a use substitution. Um, so actually let's do that now. So if we say uh, let u equal to e to the x take one, then what will the derivative of u be? Uh, well, that's just e to the x, right? So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So if we took the derivative of this, we'll be left with e to the x. And then it follows that if I multiplied by dx here, du would equal e to the x times dx. Okay, so now looking at this expression we had, had down here, e to the x take one was u. So we've got u in the denominator. e to the x dx is effectively the numerator, which I'm now going to let equal du. So e to the x dx equal to du. So this can also be written as one over u uh, du. Okay, so I've substituted in that du for e to the x dx here. Um, and then we've got this take one dx, which we can just write as x plus some constant. So now we're focusing on this integral here, one on u with respect to u. Well, we know that's the log of the absolute value of u take x plus c. And then u was e to the x take one. So therefore, this equals the log of the absolute value of e to the x take one. So that absolute value symbols there, take x plus c. Um, so there you go, that is one method of integrating one over e to the x take one. Now there are multiple other ways of taking this integral. I'll link some videos of different methods of doing this in the description. All of the different methods have slightly different solutions. In other words, the expression you end up with at the end will look different. Uh, in terms of a definite integral, that will give you the same answer, but the, the solution, the expression of the solution will look different. So perhaps if you're answering a question that says, show that the integral of one over e to the x take one equals such and such, maybe you need to use a different method, or it might depend on what you need to use it for. However, if you're just looking for an area, in my opinion, this is the most straightforward method. Um, so I hope you found this useful. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more content and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.